Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Last episode, we went down to Camp... What was it called? Whoops. Camp... Guardian? Yes. Camp Guardian. Learned about uh, their kind of misfortune, I guess. <laughs> they got killed by a bunch of... Uh, lur I don't know, lake lurkers or something like this. A new enemy type we haven't seen before. And we killed their king and killed a bunch of the other guys. And one of those dudes, Halford, ran away. Uh, he was a bit of a coward and he tried to collect the uh, dock tags of his fallen comrades to build like the dock tag fist. So I'm just wondering, one of these guys gave me that quest, right? So I'm just wondering, or uh, they told me about the camp to see if they have something to What's say that? about it, maybe? No, he's not saying anything. How about this lady? Something up? Uh, no, okay. I don't know where that guy went to. He might have gone back to McCarran. Oh, no, he said he went to... Oh, shoot, he did say where he was going to. Can't remember, but I don't know if it's actually anywhere in this place. So I'm not sure if we can actually uh, go find him. But we don't want to want to do this today. Anyway, we want to go down to the Crash B29. Uh, it's a quest we've been trying to complete uh, for the last couple of quests um, uh, episodes, but got sidetracked by other stuff, so... No longer. Let's not be sidetracked any longer. Let's just head down there and take care of business and see what we can do there. We have to attach some floaty devices, um, I forgot what it's called, to the plane so we can lift it up out of the lake. So that the boomers, specifically Loyal I believe was the guy who gave us the quest, can go and do stuff with that. So, doesn't sound like a big problem but who knows uh, I kind of want to take care of you but you're again like wow okay never mind that worked you're so fast and you're glitching through the floor again last time that, ha that happened with one of those sand towers he like catapulted them towards us which was kind of funny can I get this guy it's like duck hunt or something duck hunt sonic edition because it's so fast no Oh, now you're showing yourself, huh? This is so tricky to hit from far away because it's so fast. Yeah. I guess if I get the attention, that would help. It's okay. We could probably just walk around. Caution. Oh, here he comes. There we go. My friends got them. <laughs> Good enough for me. Good job, guys. Yeah, there's this little camp down here, too, I wanted to quickly check out before we go to the B29. I know, getting sidetracked, but, you know, it's tough. It's interesting to me. I want to know what it is. I want to see if there's actually people in here still. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there's enemies here. More casa doors. According to the movement speed of these blips. They're not in here though, they're like further behind. I think. I hope. If not, that might be bad. This is a recreation area. Oh, I guess it used to be. This looks like a uh, like a wall for something maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's go check this out in a second, but let's have a look around here. See if we can find anything of interest. It seems pretty empty though. It might just be a nice little teleport location, you know? Just a quick travel to this area so we don't always have to run down if we ever need to come back here. There is nothing in the truck. These all seem empty too. A couple of mattresses, but. Nothing too much yet. Hmm. How about this bus? Nope. Completely empty. Almost disappointing. Yeah, I guess there's nothing here. Oh, wait. Office? Rip. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, another one? Oh, hi. Damn, that looked awesome. Alright, let's see what we got here. A couple of bottle caps. 
So they use this. Oh, hey, one of these guys. I totally forgot that we have to collect some of these blue ones. Still not sure where to, like, bring them or something. There's so much we still don't know. But we'll figure it out eventually. With time. Ooh, is this a magazine? It's a book. Tumblr today. I forgot what that one does. Uh, is that, like, bartering or something? Or speech? I guess we'll find out. Let's take just the ammunition, I guess. The caps. Don't need the weapons. And just learn the book. Why not? Oh, it's lockpick. Totally wrong. We already have most of our skills on at 100 anyway. So it's not something we really need to look forward to. Um, we actually have almost a level up. We're very close. And we can get a new perk then. But I'm still just kind of trying to level up, I guess, medicine next. It's nothing I need at this point. It's just like, you know, we, we got all the perks we want. Now we're just filling in the blanks, etc. Okay, these guys... I kind of wonder, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's get the dog out. I think the dog is going to be fun for this. It shredded through the big casa doors. It must shred through these tiny ones. Sure does! Oh! Give me my gun. There we go. <laughs> this this thing could use a bigger magazine or something, I think. Might be pretty useful, especially now that it shoots so much faster. Calville Bay. Ew, this looks nasty. Are these covered Casador nests? And there's our level up that I just spoke of. Yeah, we're just like trying to level up these things. So this is at 100 as well. And I guess I'll get melee weapons up. I haven't used it. Well, actually, yeah, I haven't used melee wep uh, explosives in a while. So let's do that. Uh, but what do we want? Oh, whoa. That's a little bit laggy there. Let me have a look. Oh, changing my mind. Let's take our points here and put them into survival. I think it was 45. And I'm actually going to level this up. Because now we can get travel light, I believe. Uh, yeah. Which gives us the 10% faster movement speed. So that would be something. Or... Oh, Commander would be good for my VAT's accuracy. I'm not sure by how much that increases it, though. Pack Red would be nice. I think there was still something, though, that I wanted, no? Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm just gonna get Travel Light. That sounds fun. More movement speed. Sure. I always like movement speed. Maybe not super useful with the sprint mod, but it's... Oh, yeah, it's just nice to be faster. 10% does quite a bit, actually. Seems to make a big difference. What's in here? Oh, behind me. No, there's still something in front of me too, though. I guess it's behind the counter. <laughs> Jeez. Poor guy. Got wrecked. He got wrecked like crazy. Uh, no, no, other way. Nope. There it is. Wow, that's a lot of bottle caps too. Recharge a pistol. Everyone seems to like these. These are probably good now too, since I can use energy weapons so well. I may actually really consider using Melee weapons in Fallout 3. I don't know. That's a lot of keys that I can't pick up. Boat rental. Is there anything else of interest? Lots of bottle caps and bottles, but... Who the girls I can't collect? And... Bobby pins. I'll take those. Not that I need any. We still have a ton of them. Any books or something? This seems like a place that might have a book or a magazine, but... I'm not seeing anything, so... Yeah, well... Anything up there? No, okay. Let's go. I guess it's just for that little... Um, oh, there's more of these guys. For the blue sun... Sunset Susperola thingy, and... You know, for the... Uh, the money and such. What is this? Is this a gun? It's a harpoon. Do... Do, do we need a harpoon? 
Do we need a big harpoon for this area? Is there going to be something spooky down there? Because I would not enjoy that. Oh, these are on. I don't like... Um... Ooh, hey. I don't like underwater stuff. I'm scared of underwater. Especially if there's something down there. Oh, these are like these... Lurker guys we killed last episode. And learned about last episode. Oh, totally missed. No, I think I got him. It's just like... Didn't quite get a trick, uh, a crit there. Got you. No, he moved. All mine. Yeah, go Take get them. This. Got him. I think some are coming down though, maybe. No, we're good. Not sure why I'm all killing them. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. We just need to jump into the water and, you know, take care of stuff. Can we shoot weapons underwater? No, we can't. I'm gonna do a save here. I'm kind of scared of this. Oh, maybe the harpoon is gonna be what we use to pull out the thing. Okay, so we got to use the rebreather, right? No, how do we... Oh, you just equip it. Then why is it, like, grayed out? Is it because it's a quest item, maybe? And I won't be able to, like, uh, like drop it or keep it, maybe? I hope I can keep it. Seems extremely useful. Is this, is this is this gonna be like infinite air? I'm gonna try to keep an eye out on it. Because it might like just start dropping at one point, right? Um, but yeah, let's explore the ocean floor or lake floor, I mean. That's always fun. Even though, like I said, I'm terrified of it. But this one doesn't look too bad. It's very bright. You know, you can see. The thing that scares me about the oceans is the fact that you don't know what's below you sometimes, if it's like really deep. Oh, there it is. There's the red lady or whatever it's called. But yeah, that, that stuff freaks me out, man. Playing Subnautica or something was always uh, very, very scary. I'm gonna have a look around first before we do the plane thingy. I hope there's more. Not too long ago, I was playing Fallout 4 on my own. Like, just, you know, doing some side stuff, shooting things. And at one point, I decided to just jump into the ocean because I got the Aqua Boy perk that lets me breathe underwater. And just explore the ocean floor, especially, like, very close to the edge of the, the world. And there's some interesting stuff down there. There's even loot that you can find. And one thing that bothered me a lot, I was exploring in Far Harbor, very close to the map edge, and I saw a... Wait, how big is this lake? I saw a power armor... Oh, there's a huge lake. And... Like, a set of power armor standing underwater uh, in, like, little crevice or something was a, a couple of boxes, too, with, like, loot inside, I think. But it was behind the the wall, so I couldn't actually get it. Which was super frustrating. I don't know why it's there. If that was a mistake or something. But yeah, it's just a freaking set of power armor standing underwater that you can't reach. At least I couldn't. I was actually... Oh, yeah, look at this. Wow. Well, these are all empty. Well, some of them are full. I wonder if you can find, like, a blue thing in here. No, it's just a truck full of Sunset Sarsparilla. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's one. Wow. Jeez. Just one, maybe? Don't really see any other shimmer. There's more bottle caps, so let's push these out of the way, maybe? Yeah, there's a couple of bottle caps. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I took screenshots of it, too, because uh, I was going to post it on the Reddits to see if someone knows how to get it, but I never, never got to do that. Never ended up posting it. So, yeah, that's something. <laughs> cool story, bro. I know. Something up here. This is closer. Where is this? This is like a boat. Oh, there's enemies up here. Oh, these guys. Are you, like, weak against this? Not really. Just decent damage, though. Oh, this is a wild wasteland thing. 
This has to be like a reference to some of these like old movies, right? With the those like sea creatures. I forgot what it's called, man. It's not it. <laughs> That's a clown one. Um, there's this like movie with like one of these guys, I think. They look very similar to this. I'm guessing maybe this is what this is part of, perhaps. Interesting though that this is like a wild wasteland area And it's not here. I guess it's not here if you don't have it enabled maybe You can still hear the wild wasteland thing. Oh wasteland survival guide. That's only like the second one or so we found That was some what was that again? Is that not like XP or something? No, it's just survival Looks really big though for some reason. Okay, well, that was kind of cool, I guess. Now, which way did I come from? Uh, I guess from over there, sort of. Okay. Oh, I can sprint underwater. So cool. Oh, that changes the color. I think I was over here or something. Let's go more northeast again. I guess loop back to the plane and just pick it up. We don't want to spend too much time down here. If there's nothing like interesting down here, it's just I don't want to have a like almost hour long video of me just swimming around. God, I just had the worst deja vu. And saying that I also had the worst deja vu. That I already like said that before. Both things at the same time. That was weird. Maybe maybe I said something similar before or something. Where I explored stuff and said that I wouldn't want to fill an entire episode with that or something. It's so weird, man. Deja vu is so weird. <laughs> it's like. I don't know. They seem more mysterious than they actually are, I guess. Okay, we should go north and then. I guess more east again, right? Uh, through here, maybe? That might be kind of interesting. Ooh, what is that sound? It sounds like metal underwater bending or something. No, the yeah, oh yeah, the plane is over there. Okay, but maybe there's something in this little area. I'm trying to see if there's like any underwater caves, but I guess not so far. Ooh, there's a big boat. With nothing in it. But it's a big boat. Okay, well, let's go to the plane then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a cave. Lake Matt Cave. This. Oh, meat. It's not the one we came out of earlier, though, is it? I don't think it is. The one we came out of with after killing all those guys. Uh, let's just take care of this real quick. So, do I need to go to a specific location to attach these things? Like at the top or something, or just. Like I have to attach the buoyance or whatever. Oh, yeah. This appears to be a good location to attach one of the deployer ballast packages. Would you like to attach it to the plane? Yes. That's one. Put one on the other side. And there we go. I guess that's all, right? Only two. Return to the shore. Uh, need a towel winch and use. Okay, so we I guess we have to use a towel winch, but let's go check out this cave I'm not sure if that's the one we came out last time because I remember we came out of a cave and I swam upstairs up to the water surface And this does not look familiar. No, it's definitely not here. Okay, so this is a different cave uh, Where did it go? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it's on here God, you get turned around underwater. Let's see what's in here. Maybe it's just another entrance to the same cave, though. Uh, oh yeah, it looks different. Ooh. Now, I, I would probably expect... Can we use light? Yes. That, we, that these... Lurker guys could attack us underwater? So I'm kind of worried about that, although... I don't know. Maybe they can't. 
Because you can't really defend yourself unless maybe melee weapons work. Lots of shopping carts for some reason. Not sure why of all the things that could end up here it's shopping carts. Well, there's also a bunch of ammunition. Hello. That's good. I'll take some of these things. Stim packs, always nice. Knives, don't need those. Ball caps for sure. Okay. And then it keeps going. Oh, it goes down. I like it. I like that it goes down. Because if it goes to the surface, it means we'll probably run into those lurker guys. Or whatever they were called. But if it goes down, chances are no. And there's like red mushrooms in here. If, the, if this was... Uh, ooh, what is this? Metal? Oh, it's a door? Maybe? Car door? If this was Subnautica, though, this place would be uh, terrifying. What is... Other pieces of... Maybe... An airplane? Or could it be a UFO or something? I haven't seen a UFO in this game yet, but I bet you there is one. There seems to be one in every game. Well, in all the 3D ones I know of at least. Oh, hey, a magazine. I haven't played the uh, or original ones yet. Which is actually something I would like to do too. Oh wait, these are... Oh, these are like poker chips, but I can't pick them up. Actually, I tried out the first Fallout for like... 10 minutes or something at one point, and... It seemed alright. Seems Seemed like something I could get into. Not sure why I didn't back then, though, but... Um, I think I was just like... Playing other games, I, just, I was just curious about it. I think it was actually just before I started playing... New Vegas... Yeah, I don't know. This seems odd. I mean, it looks like a car stuff, right? But... Yeah, I guess it's car pieces. These pieces just look odd to me. Is this like a hood or something? Hmm. Okay, let's see if that goes anywhere else. It almost looks like it does. Like over here? No. It just goes into these little holes, but that's it. Anything on the ceiling, maybe? No. Huh, okay. Oh, wait. Nope. I don't know, I feel like there might be something else in here that I'm missing, but it just seems like it's too big and mysterious for just a magazine and a bit of ammunition, right? But I really don't see anything else. Unless there is like some sort of exit at, at like one of these there's a box in the ceiling too well I'll leave it for now but you know as always if you know anything you can let me know I'll come back if I can find it ever again it's really cool though it looks nice oh wait yeah we didn't actually is that like a way up from here maybe no 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 okay let's go uh, I thought this is the exit isn't it? Oh, finding the exit is always the worst. Yeah, it is. Nope, that's ED. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go back to the surface. To the shore. Pull the thing. Get this giant plane out of here. And we did kind of explore this area, so I don't think there's anything else. Man, I feel like a dolphin when it happens. And I try to sprint in water. All right. Wait. Okay, is this good? Oh, does it just mean I have to use it now? Uh, there it is. Oops. Cool. We don't have to like pull it in or something. No, just scroll back. 
and tell him, huh? Okay. Let's go do this, I guess. Hey, there he is. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. I already did. It. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Perfect. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you. The robots <laughs> are going to handle it. Yeah, you did. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Calvo ah. Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Okay, well I'm glad to have helped. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Okay. You go do your thing. Nice. Now, what is the conclusion to this? Talk to Pearl. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, who's running there? Is that Boone? That's Boone. I may have to talk to him again in a bit or something. Or maybe we just have to do more of the main quest. Because, like, I just don't know how to trigger his quest. Hey, Pearl. Hello, friend. I've spoken to Loyal, the B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Nice. Well, speaking of which, there may be a battle in the future at the Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Wait, the, wait, the kids fight? Bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this was a quest for the Yes Man? Things that go boom. Convince the boomers to help. Return to Ambassador Crocker now and let him know the boomers will help you. But it said something about the re uh, Yes Man stuff. Make contact with the boomers at Nelly's. Okay. Tell the Yes Man that the boomers have vowed for you. Okay. Well, I don't really want to join the Yes Man, I don't think. Anyway. Okay, she also gave us a couple of items, looks like. I don't quite know what it was, but I think it was a, yeah, flight suit and a helmet. That's cool. Body head, okay. Probably not gonna use any of these things. Not sure if there was anything else she gave us. I didn't quite see. Uh, so let's look at this. Return to Ambassador Crocker. Okay, let's go do this. Oh, wait. Is this... Isn't that Ambassador Crocker the guy that uh, wants to... Wants us to join the NCR? I think it is, right? Is he at Camp McCarran, though? No, he's in the Strip North Gate and then go down there, I think. Sometimes there's some, like, really creepy music when I go through here. Like, very mysterious sounding, like someone is stalking okay. me or something. It's creepy. It's very scary. Um, okay, he's over here. The Embassy. I guess he's on this side. Nope. Is that him? He's taking a nap. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to talk to you about the boomers. I hope you've returned with good news. I did. The boomers have to agree uh, have agreed to help me. Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Okay, I rested up. It's good to have a friend of the <laughs> NCR here. I don't, I don't need to wait. Earlier you mentioned another assignment. So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but 
The NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated, and even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Yes. What about it? Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Sure. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Isn't Pacer that asshole, dude? Uh, I can't just kill him. What do you want me to do? Oh, if I can't kill him. Make it look like an accident or pin okay. the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. All right, I'll try to find a way. I'm sure something will turn up. If you think you found something but are unsure, report back and I'll let you know if it's something we can use. It may be tough to find a way to completely throw off suspicion, however. In that case, we could take a different tact. But one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang. A man who calls himself the king. Yeah, I might know about them. I did, did we already get rid of Pacer, though? From the kings, too? Didn't we, like, screw him over? I can't remember, man. Mm, what would I need to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here and we'll take it from there. Alright, I gotta talk to him. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Yeah, I, I feel like we've... I don't know. I feel like we tried to talk about Pacer. If that's the same guy, because he was the guy that also screwed up the other um, Nelson's back in our NCR ladies stuff, right? I don't know. It's been so long, man. <laughs> we, we've been doing just the DLCs recently, so... We actually haven't been in here Help for you. a very, very long time. Okay, I guess I can't take any of his stuff, right? No. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm still not sure if I want to join the NCR. I'm, I'm tempted to do it. Um, but I'm also kind of curious about joining House and learn more about his, you know, plans. Nelson's back so, yeah, Hope still something finished. I need to decide on, I guess. All right, can we just teleport to the king? I think we can. Uh, this might work better. Okay, and this might be old news by now, or like outdated info, but as far as I can remember, I think someone at one point suggested to do this uh, quest. <laughs> my heart! Why? Why would you do this? Oh my god. I hate this man. <laughs> I, sh I should turn these off for companions or whatever. Uh, someone suggested to do that quest with the those like laser pistol dudes over in a corner. I think they're over there, right? No, they're over this way. I think those guys over there. Can you like not kill everyone in here? Who's there? He looks like Boone. That guy over there. Well, I guess he's an enemy. Because I think there was something apparently good doing this. But also, they were mostly using laser weapons, I believe, right? So now that we have more options with uh, using laser weapons, maybe it is worth doing that. But let's go in here first and talk to the king about Pesa again. I think it's again. I feel like we already kicked him out, but whatever. Maybe we just de-ranked him or I, I can't remember. Also, one thing I just realized, where did we send Rex to again? Is Rex at... I have no idea. Where is Rex? 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, he is here. Is it, I actually would like to do his quick. You know what? We might do this right now. I think I'm going to do this right now. Edie, I love you. But I'm going to give Rex another try. So, uh, nope. What is it? Oh, is it back up? No. Talk to? Wait here. Who's here? I guess I have to talk to you and do it, right? Yes, terminate. Because we did her quest. Uh, return to base. Is that going to send her back? And companion protocol. Sorry. She's back to prim. Okay. Don't have a cool perk, of course, but I do want to uh, like go after Rex's quest here. Where'd she go? Did he go into here? Too full now. Raxy. Raxy, Raxy, Rax. He ran into this corner over here. Well, where did he go then? Wait, did he leave? I hope he didn't leave. Some nut attempted to kill the head of Okay, I'm gonna give this to Boom right now. So I wanna be able to walk. Uh, I think Rex might have run outside. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure where he would go though. Shoot. That's not good timing, Rex. Okay, let's go talk to the king real quick. Before we head out. I, I don't know if there's an easier way to, like, get back your companions. Wait, where is the king again? Oh, the radio is playing. Oh, yeah, upstairs more, I guess. Please don't strike me with your copyright. There he is. Is this on? No. I need to find these radios. You know what? I'm going to turn on radios for a bit. Okay, they're still slightly on, but, you know, much quieter. What can the king do for you? Uh, I need you to stop the violence against the NCS citizens. Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. Ah, the kings will follow your leadership. Damn straight they will. It's some of the other locals that I'm worried about. On second thought, if I can whip this band of hooligans into obedience, a stray tough guy or two shouldn't be a problem. Okay, you've got a deal. No more violence against the NCR on my watch. But this makes us even, you hear? Sounds good. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah, let me see if I can figure out... I think there was a way to see where your companions are, right? Oh, there he is. He's outside. Hey, Rex. Uh, let's... See, uh, we should drive together. Search a mark. Cool. And then I can give you my stuff again. And we should also probably put on our helmet again. Still have to rebreather on. Alright, cool. There we go. Nice. Uh, so that's done. I guess we should go talk to the guy. Mm, yeah, let's go do this. Let's go back and tell him that we finished this before we start something else. Ah, uh, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Indeed. Uh, I spoke to the king and he promised to stop the violence against the NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Okay. What did we get? Six on of caps. Hey, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, after doing all this work, maybe there's a little bit more in there for me? Well, I don't officially have access to any more funds, but here. This is from me personally. There's more coming your way, too. Ooh. I received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. That sounds like something... Ooh, idolized. That sounds like something that lets us join them properly. Unless this already counts. Still don't have access to items. Still not sure if that actually gives us access, but... Yeah, that sounds like something very, very important to do. To go talk to her, but... I'm not sure if I'll do this next. Um, I do, like I said, I do kind of want to follow Rex's quest a little bit. 
And I, that's like over here in Jacobstown, and that's also where where the um, well the Wall Street is over here, but it's kind of like in this <laughs> general direction, I suppose. That's one of these stranger things too. So I don't know. It might be kind of interesting to do this stuff first. We also have Vault Thirty Four to visit still. So maybe I will do this a little bit and check out Rex's quest and see what that's gonna do. Um, maybe before we end this, let's have a quick chat with him. Sounds like it's gonna be an all-out war with the Legion soon. Ah. Maybe I should have re-enlisted after all. That's it, huh? Let's see. Can we like talk about yourself? If you want, it's not. Uh, tell me about your wife. Carl is dead. What was go uh, Camp Golf like? It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... I just can't get his quest to trigger, and I don't know what to... Yeah. Like, what the requirements for that is, so... I don't know. We might check him... We might check out Help Veronica, maybe, too. Um, since we have Rex with us as well. Just, like, have... Few different uh, companions, you know. Have been running off but we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna have to end the episode here for today, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.